Look, there's plenty of people using deceptive marketing to sell low quality feedlot meat, notably in the United States. And I've always known that ButcherBox is selling meat that is similar to what you would get from the supermarket. I just never really cared. But since Joe Rogan is sitting in a $15 million mansion promoting this garbage, when he could very well be selling truly high quality products, I've decided to expose the hypocrisy of these people. ButcherBox is, without a doubt, claiming to sell healthier meat. We are committed to premium meat, 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef, heritage breed pork, and free-range organic chicken. Our goal is to make high-quality meat accessible to as many people as possible. We make it easy to feed your family the best. We source our meat and seafood from partners with the highest standards for quality. Well, Mr. ButcherBox, there's a few problems with that. High quality has no legal definition. Your meat is certainly not the best, and I don't think people are having a hard time accessing it because it's on the supermarket shelves. ButcherBox, which is a great company that's one of the sponsors of my podcast, all of their all their meat is grass fed, grass finished from sustainable places that are ethically raised animals. You sure about that, Joe? The director of procurement for ButcherBox, Michael Billings, worked for over 20 years at BJ's Wholesale Club. At his past job at BJ's, he would just call up Cargill or Tyson to order meat. Yet now he's claiming he works with farmers and ranchers for ButcherBox. But can you really teach an old dog new tricks? Like I have a friend who has a farm and they grow it for livestock. They have a huge area that they grow corn and it's all, by the way, Monsanto corn, right? They're spraying that fucking Roundup on it, which is, you know, glyphosate is terrible for you. And I had a podcast about that recently, about environmental chemicals and how bad they are for you and then how that stuff actually can be in the meat and can, in turn, get into your system and provide you with all sorts of problems. Joe, if you know how bad conventional feedlot animal products are providing people with all sorts of problems, why are you sponsored by ButcherBox? Why are you selling them? This was the last straw for me. An email from ButcherBox. We got Thanksgiving covered. They're giving away a 10 to 14 pound turkey with your first order. How much do you think they paid for that turkey? Their claims for this turkey are no added hormones, no antibiotics, and free range. All free range means is the turkeys have access to outdoors. In reality, this turkey that ButcherBox is claiming to be oh so great is the typical supermarket crap that's been raised in a barn and fed corn and soy its entire life, never seen the outside. It's the same garbage Americans have been shoving down their throats for dozens of years, just with a clever marketing twist. Perhaps Mr. Billings is still calling up his Tyson rep for that turkey. What do you guys think? For pork, they talk about the breed, focusing on the genetics of the pig. But that doesn't mean anything. It's like advertising conventional feedlot beef as Angus, which is what they're precisely doing here. The pigs have bedding in open barns, outdoor access, and are fed a nutritious all-vegetarian diet. What that means is the pigs are in a barn eating corn and soy just like those turkeys. The same exact garbage feedlot conventional meat you get from the supermarket. But hey, heritage breed pork certainly sounds better than conventional feedlot crap. The life of a pig that you eat for bacon is a terrible, tortured life, and you're okay with that. Joey boy, if the life of a pig for bacon is tortured, why are you selling it? Same exact story with the chicken. Our free-range organic chickens spend their days roosting in barns and exploring the outdoors. Outdoor access with specialized enhancements. All that means is the chickens sit in a barn all day but have the option to go out to a small plot of land that is likely not even forageable. Nutritious, organic, all vegetarian feed is simply organic versions of corn and soy. You know, that being said, 
organic free range chicken also sounds much better than corn and soy fed barn birds. Factory farming should be fucking completely illegal. And it's legal in California. You can get factory fed animals and you could buy them left and right. <laughs> yeah, your buddies at ButcherBox are buying them left and right. If I had to place a bet, ButcherBox is still purchasing from those big American meat producers, Cargill, Tyson, JBS, because those specific companies sell this quality of meat to supermarkets. Saying that you're going out to see farmers and ranchers to build a supply chain is just clever marketing terminology. All meat was raised on some farm. What matters is how it was raised and the legal definitions that ButcherBox is using to define their meat indicate it's deceitful. ButcherBox is telling you they're basically not selling legit high quality meat. You, know, you would assume if someone is selling you high quality meat that it's something you could not access in the supermarket. Perhaps pork that is actually on pasture. Something like Spanish Iberico that is 100% raised on forage. Chicken that is corn and soy free, actually in the field eating bugs. And a heritage breed turkey with similar qualities one that was rummaging through the woods, not a turkey that was simply tested for antibiotic residue. How are they able to get away with this marketing on such a large scale? You know, many farmers are taking advantage of this, which is discrediting those smaller operations that are actually trying to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Joe is incredibly guilty of this to find a mule deer and to shoot it and then to haul it out of there and then to, to cut it up and eat it and cook it or cook it and eat it. It, it was, it was, it was, it's, it's a weird word, spiritual, but it is a spiritual experience because it, it connected you with the life that sustains you. Like you were there. I looked at that animal when I squeezed that trigger off and watched it drop. And then when we were cutting it and hauling it out and eating the liver and eating the heart and, and, and cooking meat over the fire, uh, immediately it all made sense to me. I was like, okay, this feels so much different than buying meat in a store. When I take a piece of elk meat, I shot an elk uh, last week in uh, Utah. When I take a piece of elk meat two weeks ago and I put that on the Traeger, I season it and I put, put it there and I cook it and then I'm eating it and I'm feeding it to my family. I have a connection to that meat. I, I looked in the eyes of that elk when I released that arrow. I watched it drop 15 seconds later. I felt the relief. I felt the, 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 the happiness. And I, I, I felt the gratitude that this, this animal is going to be how I get my meat. And hundreds of pounds of meat, I'm going to give it to my friends. I, I give it to, to your tribe. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love I love all of it about. And the people that I've met through this pursuit have been some of the best people I've ever met in my life. I mean, what's the deal? Is Joe chowing down on venison with the butcher box CEOs while they laugh at us eating the conventional crap they sell? How can you talk about the spiritual experience of hunting a deer, the consumption of the highest quality of meat, wild game, even say it's so different from a supermarket, then turn around and sell butcher box meat? They must be cutting him a fat ass check. But for no one else to have pointed this out yet is beyond me. How has this company gotten away with misleading millions and millions and millions of Americans? Uh, maybe we'll do a comparison video of butcher box meat to what we have on Frankie's free range meat. And I, I mean, these people must be cashing out bank, making a ton of money because butcher box charges more than we do and they're selling you know this conventional quality meat so their cost is probably half of what ours is for the product and they're charging more money and you know if you have a problem with the order they don't refund you uh, so it's you know, it's, i mean it's it's all about money that's what it is to these people you know uh, it, it just discourages me when i you know went on their website and saw that message that they wanted to allow as many people as possible to access high quality meat. They're a bunch of liars, a complete bunch of liars. Am I getting, uh, am I getting secret messages? Shit's falling off the wall now. 
Uh, so <laughs> uh, I guess that'll be it for today, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if we, if you guys want to see that comparison video, any thoughts on this, if you guys have purchased from them before and had problems, definitely leave a comment down below. Outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was a little entertaining and I will see you guys tomorrow.